All right. Hello, Cram Stubbers. Okay, this is going to be a short one. I always say that, but actually this time, it's going to be a short one. Uh, this is just me teaching math to little kids. Oh, look, what happens when you multiply by 19? Anyway, uh, let's see here. Why would you want to know that? Who cares? Oh, those were sevens. Sevens are magical. So are threes. All right, that wasn't supposed to be in the video, but it is because I didn't get ready. All right, so here's a little piece of information for you. Uh, 2.3. 2.3, what number is 2.3? 2.3 is the percent of the electromagnetic spectrum you can see with these things. Uh, what does that mean then? That means, well, let's see, let's take that away from 100%. Can you, can you do the math? 100%. That means, let's see here, that's going to be a zero over here, and that's going to be a, well, let's see here, I need to make a 10 there, so that's going to be a 7. And let's see here, i got to make a 9 over there, so that's going to be a 7, and then that's going to be a 9. All right, so we're happy. Oops, there you go. Sorry, didn't put that in. We're subtracting. So what do we have there? Uh, you don't see 97.7 of the visible electromagnetic spectrum or well that's not correct what I just said is is backwards uh, 2.3 is the visible magnetic uh, or electromagnetic spectrum according to us using these ocular devices we see 2.3 percent of the electromagnetic spectrum uh, we know that there are many animals that see further into the electromagnetic spectrum uh, cats for example have, have uh, excellent night vision that we don't have because they can see into the spectrum that we can't see. Your dog, your dog hears more than you hear, that's for sure. So, uh, but let's just talk about vision. So let's see, you only see 97.7%, uh, oh, excuse me, you don't see 97.7% of the electromagnetic spectrum. Every single bit of your language is based on this 2.3. In fact, if it's outside of your uh, sensory, it's extrasensory, and uh, we don't have language for it. This was the problem with many uh, of our seers and uh, prophets and so forth, and even some of the modern day guys that would have these crazy experiences, like Terence McKenna, for example, who would say that uh, there's no English for it, there's no mathematics for it. You don't, you can't uh, describe what happens when you do these things like take DMT or ayahuasca or, 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 or LSD or all these other things, when you have these, even marijuana, you have you take too much and you can definitely hallucinate and have, you know, go on a trip and have an, I mean, and what happens? You, know, you, you don't really go anywhere. But anyway, the idea is that uh, there's no English for it because if it happens outside of this 2.3, <laughs> we don't even have words. Okay, so that's one piece of information. That's uh, step one. Step one is you see nothing, nothing. You see nothing. Two. One hundred. Oh dear. My pen is not happy. Oh, I guess you can see it. Right. Let's use one that works. Hold on a second. Huh? I want this blue one. I like this blue one. Right All right. So, one hundred. 100,000, let's see here, 100,000, 100 million, 100 billion, there you go, right? Hundreds, thousands, millions, billions. 100 billion, what's the significance of that number? Look at that, it fits all the way there. Look how many zeros that is. Well, that just so happens is about, give or take a few billion, the number of suns in the Milky Way. A hundred billion. And by the way, the Milky Way, not, not particularly a big galaxy. It's, it's, it's for, c compared to us and for what we know, uh, big. But as the universe goes, eh, so-so. Not that big. It's not a tiny one, but it's not a big one. Okay, so anyway, a hundred billion. And guess what? There's billions of galaxies. But anyway, of our one little galaxy that, that, that uh, we love so well, that's uh, around us, and every time we look up in the sky, that's what you see, an arm of the Milky Way. We call it the Milky Way. 
there are 100 billion suns. 100 billion of those. And then, when I was a young boy, uh, we were alone. They thought we were it. That was it. There was one wet world that we knew of, and we were on it. <laughs> that was the only wet world we knew of. We didn't know if there was uh, water on any other moon in our own solar system. We didn't know anything. Well, now we know that, hey, it looks like there's actually water uh, and more than just Earth. Hmm. And as we go further and uh, we start to take a look and uh, our imaging has gotten better and our mathematics has gotten better, we have started to figure out that about 40%, that's, be, uh, that's because about 2 out of 5, which is 4 out of 10, which is 40%, uh, of stars that we looked at had planets that probably have wet worlds. 40%. Let's see, 40% of 100 billion is 40 billion. That's 40 billion wet worlds out there, my friends. 40 billion with a B. Really, you think that the universe has 40 billion shots at having uh, life spring up on one of those wet worlds like us, or maybe different from us, but whatever, some kind of life, 40 billion times. That's it. Uh, the, the beginning, to go back to the beginning, you see 2.7% of the electromagnetic spectrum. There are 40 billion wet worlds out there, give or take a few billion. Okay, Crime Stoppers. Until next time. E Pluribus Unum.